Hello everybody, I'm Hoarder Gamer, and this is the review of Batman number 54. First thing you'll notice, the cover is Mr. Freeze, Bane, the Joker, Two-Face, Harley Quinn. You don't get any of those in this issue. You get Condiment King and Crazy Quilt. That's what you get. Uh, it uh, starts out nicely. Um, it's a close-up of a Flying Grayson's poster, an advertisement. And uh, we move in closer and closer and closer until we start seeing the actual print. And we focus on the face of a young Dick Grayson. And from here we go back and forth to current time where Dick Grayson is trying to hang out with Bruce and, you know, talk to him about what happened with Selina. And he really doesn't want to do that. And we go back and forth between that and when he was much younger and basically taken in as Bruce's ward. So we constantly go through things like cucumber sandwiches, the only things that uh, um, a young Dick wants to eat, Dick Grayson, is um, potato chips. It's really not that great. Um... I love Tom King. I think he's a great writer, but I really feel that the quality level of the book has suffered since the wedding. I don't know. I mean, I like the wedding issue. I was, like I mentioned before, I was not prepared for it to go the way we expected. And once the Joker had his say for two issues before the wedding, I was like, okay, the wedding's probably not going to happen. I wasn't terribly upset that it didn't. Okay. But... I don't know. These feel like trifles right now. You know, this three issue story arc of a Mr. Freeze trial and Bruce going through, you know, thinking that he was God and now he realizes he's not God. I don't know. It just hasn't been that compelling. And I'm hoping things get better. In October, KG Beast shows up. That should be pretty cool. Starts a new story arc with that villain. So I'm looking forward to that, but I give this a seven. You know, it's still good. Tom King is still a great writer. It just, I don't, you know, honestly what this felt like to me though, even though it's good writing, it felt more like a fill-in issue. You know, like when, if Tom King wasn't available and another writer took over, that's what it feels like to me. And uh, I understand covers are a lot of times not based on the issue, especially a variant cover but showing some of the absolute best Batman villains and then giving us Crazy Quilt and Condiment King is a little bit of a disappointment. I'm a huge Batman fan and a Tom King fan, so um, I think the book is going to get better. And it's not that I felt that the whole trial of Mr. Freeze um, was bad, but I feel three issues was a bit much. I think it could have been done in one, maybe two at the absolute most. But making it a three-issue story arc, it just felt like talking heads no matter how well the dialogue was done. You know, as I look back at it, all I focus on is Bruce talking to the different jurors. You know, and sure, we saw scenes of the crime, scenes of Bat things that Batman saw, you know, all these things happening. But all I'm going to focus on is, uh, you know, just talking heads really for that. But yeah, if you're a big Batman fan, I still recommend picking it up. Uh, if you've lapsed, I think I would wait maybe till the next issue or till October, to be honest with you. But if you're a huge fan, you know, a 7 isn't bad. I still think it's good. It's just not, you know, great or excellent, which is a lot of times what Tom King is capable of. Okay, everybody, I want to thank you all very much for checking this review out. If you like it, feel free to subscribe. If you really like it, ring my bell. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. And again, I'm Hoarder Gamer. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.